Hey, it's Jack Ravel here from Life by Design, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can be confident in any situation. Let's go. So first of all, how do you be confident? What is confidence? Confidence is defined as having trust in a process. All right. So if you think about it, all you need to know is what you need to do in order to be able to get to where you want to go. So the first thing about confidence is body language. Right. If you can get your body language right, you can be confident in any situation. And there's a couple of things that you can learn about this. First thing is using your palms and your hands. All right. Try not to keep your hands in your pockets. Try not to keep your hands in front of you or behind you. Use your hands when you're talking to somebody. It gives you a different dynamic. It makes you a lot more interesting to listen to. And also you can use your hands as a way of gesturing certain parts of the stories or parts of the things that you're talking about. It's really powerful. Second thing is eye contact. Now, People think that you have to keep eye contact all the time. It's not the case. I go on the three second rule. If you're talking to a group of people, look at them for three seconds and then move on to the next person. Three seconds and then move on to the next person and keep going around the room. If you're listening to just or talking to one person, maybe do three seconds and then look off to a little bit, maybe look down, come back up for another three seconds, but always try and maintain contact, main contact with them in their eyes for at least three seconds at the very beginning. If you're talking to someone and they're talking back at you, always keep eye contact and react to their story, whether it's a smile and a nod or a concerning face, whatever it might be, but react to their story as you go. Second thing, commitment. Commitment equals confidence, all right? You may not be the best dancer, the best singer, the best storyteller, the best whatever. It doesn't matter. So long as you commit to what you're about to do, that shows confidence. It shows people around you that you are willing to put yourself on the line and be vulnerable enough to be able to show people what you can do. You may not be the best at it, but it doesn't matter because if you commit fully, people buy into you and that's what confidence is all about. And number three, it's all about relaxing. Remember, you're not trying to convince people of who you are, right? You're not trying to get them to think about you in a certain way. You're just trying to be yourself. Be true to who you are and people will resonate with that. People will find you more endearing, more vulnerable, more magnetic if you just show up as you. And remember to relax, you know, take a, take a, a second to pause, take a second to really enjoy the situation. And remember, you don't always have to be the one talking. You can be the one that's listening. You can be the one that's adding to the conversation. You can be asking questions. But when it comes to confidence, You've got to remember that committing to the situation is really key. Keeping your body language always open and friendly is also really important with those eyes that are connecting for every three seconds. And just relax because the more you relax and the more you're yourself, the more confident you will be. Thanks so much. For